Today I'll be showing you how to create this simple drag and drop functionality right here. It's only HTML, CSS and JavaScript, a few lines of code. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so here we have our index.html. It's totally empty except that we've linked our CSS and our script.js. We have our style.css with a simple font and some basic settings. And our script.js is completely empty. So to get this started, we are going to create a div with the class container and another div at this level with the class Dropbox. We give each of them an ID. This will be the first box and the second box. And inside the container, we are going to create four items. For this example, they will have the class item. And for each of them, we are going to give an attribute. And this is a built in attribute called draggable. This is the start which will let us use the drag and drop functionality. So if you hover over it, you can see it enables the drag and drop API. And inside the JavaScript, we'll be able to work with this. Now in the script.js, we are going to have the container and the Dropbox selected together. Their width will be 25 viewport width units. Their height will be 65 viewport height units. They will be using Flexbox, so display flex. The flex direction will be a column because that's how we saw it aligned in the preview as well. The justify content will be start. And the align items will be center. Let's also give them a white border of two pixels. And this time it will be dashed. We need a gap between the elements to make them align properly. And the padding of 20 pixels on the top and the bottom and five pixels on these sides. And as for the last one, we are going to style the items so that it will be 85%. They are, give them a background color. They will also use Flexbox, but they will simply be justified and aligned to the center. Their height will be 15%. Their border radius will be 5 pixels to make them a little bit rounded. The cursor will be of type grab whenever they hover over it. The user select will be none. And this is important for the drag and drop functionality. And also give them a simple color and now all that's left is to work on the javascript so we are first going to grab the items which will be document dot query selector all and we are looking for the dot item class we are also going to grab the first box and the second box this will be with the get element by id and then we are going to go over the items element because each of them will have a drag functionality with the for each loop which takes in the item parameter and inside the for each loop we'll attach event listeners to the items so item dot add event listener we are listening for the drag start event and this will receive yet another arrow function and these arrow functions since they are events they take in the event object we're going to make a variable here called selected which will be the event dot target this will get us the element that we are currently selecting and then we are going to give event listeners to the second box and the first box we will be listening to the drop event and they will receive an arrow function and whenever we drop the items there then we are going to append it as a child so the second box dot append child and we are going to append the selected node node because that's the node we've grabbed that we started dragging and we are going to set back the selected to null we we'll copy this and make it for the first one as well because we want the first box to be functional as well. 
and you could say we are done but we are not i'll show you why so if i start dragging you see that there is a denial sign there it won't let us drag and drop it will let us drag but it won't let us drop it and so the solution for that is that for both boxes we need yet another event listener second box dot add event listener whenever we drag over the element it's going to take in an arrow function, but this time we'll be using the event object that it gets with. And we are going to say event dot prevent default. This will prevent the default behavior of the browser and it will let us drag and drop our functions as need our boxes as needed. So do this for the first box as well. And now it should be working. There we go. There you can see how it the denial sign is there by default, but whenever you drag over the box, it immediately turns into this drag sign. So it is working. So that's it for this one. We quickly made the drag and drop functionality. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found value in this video, please consider giving us a like, maybe even subscribing. Check out our other videos. And other than that, I hope to see you in the next one.